Hey guys, I'm here today. My name is Emily and this is Emmy Wu Arts and I'm going to give you a rundown of what I am using in 2019 as far as planners and journals. So stick around and check it out because I'm going to tell you how I use them, not to show you what they look like. So sound cool? All right. my stack. These are my all-stars. This is my A-team. Okay, enough references That's that I don't know anything about. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let's start with the most basic here. This is my planner. This is the Midori 2019 date book, um, and it's the cat's version. Now, I did an unboxing of this. I ordered it I got it from Malaysia. It actually comes with this little outer, this plastic is an outer cover. So it's got like a regular paper cover, but it comes with this outer cover. How many times can I say cover? And this, it's got a little pen loop in it, which I don't use right now. I mean, I could, um, because I do actually keep a little pen case with this, with the colors that I use to um, color code in here and then in here I use my sharpie um, sharpie fine liner so this is my planner my planner planner where my life you know details are organized and um, it has the beginning it is Japanese I got it from um, Let's see, a shop in Malaysia, a website called Stickerific, I think it was called. Um, I can try and link it below, but um, I had to get it from there because I couldn't find it anywhere in the United States. I saw it on a haul on the Tokyo Pen Shop website and then it was sold out and I had to have it. I went looking like a flipping crazy person for this for this date book I don't know why you guys I'm absolutely insane but look how cute it is I mean I have two cats and I, I like cats but prior to this year I wouldn't have called myself like a an uber cat person but this makes me want to just die of happiness I love it I think it's just the cat drawings they're so cute um so anyway I'll let me just shut up Emily Okay, so it gives you this month, um, it's like a yearly index. I don't know how I'm going to use this yet. Um, it does have English like numbers in it, but then it does have some Japanese, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, like it has the month, this is January in Japanese, I presume. And then it's got the days of the week here in the Japanese symbol, but it's also got the numbers. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's not a lot of space to write, so... Um, I don't know. It would be interesting to track track something here. Hmm. If you have any good ideas, please let me know. I know there's tons of things I could do, but they're all escaping my brain right now. And it actually started in October of 2018, and I'm crazy, so I went back and filled it in. Um, just because I like to write in planners, it's just like a very zen thing for me to do. Um, look at all the cat butts, the cat tails. I mean, you guys, I just, I, I can't. Look at that. Um, so it did have the months for, uh, and then I tried some different mild liner colors in here and they were too bold. I didn't like them. So I'm sticking to the kind of softer theme of this sort of pastels because it's kind of a pastel-y type calendar. But the way that I use my monthlies is I write down <clears throat> when I work. I write down um, things that my kids have going on, dance, karate. Um, I write down their early out days from school. I write down when they don't have school. Um, and it's all color coded. I live and die by my color code. I don't know why, it's just now I've done it for so long that my brain just recognizes immediately who it's about. Like, um, so if I see something in goldish um, yellow, it's something to do with with me. It's something I have to do. If it's pink, it's my daughter. Green, it's my son. 
darker blue is my husband. And then this sort of tealy color is something that has to do with both kids, like days they don't have school or they're early out or something like that, you know? So this works for me. I really, really like color coding. And I've been writing, like I said, with the Sharpie fine liner, and I do like it because it does not smear when I go over it with my mild liners. Um, I don't have the pack of mild liners that I use, my little gold case of them down here. And then I decorated the month's pages with um, this Carpe Diem month's sticker pack. And I've got it in the big size and the small size because um, this is the mini sticker tablet and I think it's called Months Carpe Diem Seasons mini sticker tablet. That's the number. I can try and find it on Amazon for you. Otherwise, I got it at Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% off coupon. And then this is the big one. It's the same exact sticker sheet. It's just big and small. And I used the big one when I decorated my traveler's notebook that I had been in prior to moving into this. This was my planner. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Um, it's so cute, isn't it? God, it's cute. Emily, just stick to stick to what you're doing. And I use the big sticker tablet to decorate these, this calendar. And it is super cute. And the fact that I'm not using it right now is like semi, it's heartbreaking a little bit because this is like the cutest monthly calendar ever. Um, but who knows, you know me. I mean, who knows, I could switch in a week. So that was what I was in before. And that's the sticker tablets that I use to decorate my months because normally I'm not a big seasonal sticker person, but something about these stickers is not obnoxious to me. It doesn't make me want to punch somebody. They're not like, they are cutesy, but they're not cutesy. They're not ugly cutesy, in my opinion. I, I, that was a terrible explanation. And then these cat flags did not come on it. I got those in my order from Simple Heart Studio. Um, when I ordered from Malaysia, it's this pack of cat tabs. And when I saw them, well, I had to get them for my cat planner. You know, it already had tabs. It already had tabs, but I had to have the cat tabs. Like, who doesn't have to have cat tabs in a cat planner? See, crazy cat lady. So in these months, I just put a couple of those mini stickers. I didn't go like completely ham like I did on my big calendar over there, like the sweater and mittens and, and look at the cat being brushed. Oh, I can't even. So that is that. Now it gave you the monthly spreads, but it did not give you, um, this is how it's set up is the week. Um, it's kind of, it's like a week's Hobonichi weeks, but a different size. It's got, um, the week over here starts on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sundays are already mar always marked in this red color. And then you've got this little grid um, paper over here. It's not a dot grid, it's like a lined grid. And I write pretty big and this grid is nice because it's, I'm not like trying to squeeze my handwriting in there. Um, and there was some notes pages in the back, so I actually made December because I was nutso and wanted to start using it. So, um, oh, that's one of my little writing boards that, that I made by laminating some paper. Um, so I made a December um, monthly calendar in here so that I could use it starting in December. And I drew pictures and, you know, you can see how I how I used it with timed things, to-do lists, um, more pictures that I drew, week before Christmas. Look at that cat with the hat. They drew that, isn't that cute? Um, and then this was the week of Christmas. Can you see there's not a lot to do? We didn't do a whole lot. We sat around a lot. And then I did make an order tracker back here to track things that I had coming. Um, and as you can see here, this Foxy Fix notebook cover in the um, V6 size, which is five by seven. Um, yeah, that's right. 
This is B6, this is five by seven. Um, I ordered a Foxy Fix notebook cover for this. It's like a, it's a poppy color and um, it's really pretty, but I don't think they're ever gonna give it to me. <laughs> I think I ordered it, as you can see, November 24th. Um, and it is now January 3rd. <laughs> No, no sign of the notebook. <laughs> I think they're like hand raising the cow and nurturing it and sending it to college and then waiting it to die an old happy cow before they use, use it to make my notebook. <laughs> That's my only explanation. <laughs> uh, although in the, in the, the small print, it probably did say something about it taking, you know, like 95 years. Um, and I just, I'm so, you know, punchy that I just ordered it and I didn't pay attention to that. Like fine, like now, I don't even know if I want it anymore. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> this is how I work. And it's so bad that, you know, if you make me think about it for too long, then I don't want it anymore. But I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous. When it comes, it'll be beautiful. And um, I'll stick this in it because at the time I was not planning on carrying, or I wanted to carry this in my purse, but I didn't want this to get all bent up, even though this was cheap. <laughs> this planner was not expensive, um, even getting it shipped from Malaysia. But I I just still didn't want it to get ruined because it's like my favorite thing in the world with the cats. So, but you know, this B6 notebook cover that they, um, that I ordered from Foxy Fix is made for astology. Um, Tamoy River notebook. So if I don't put it in there, I will, I can get a Stalogy and put it in that notebook cover and I can journal in it, which would be super cool too. So I'm sure it will get used. Uh, and I'm excited to show you. I kept putting this off because I wanted to show you that and then it just never came. <laughs> so still waiting. So I can show you some of the months. So that was the end of my December. Um, that I made myself and then it started obviously with January and <clears throat> this is the first week and I have not done anything real um real uh decorative in here as you can see just my color coding and the reason um I have not done anything super decorative is because of this bad boy which you watched me put together because you can see in here you can see that I write timed things that I need to know about as far as like my husband's schedule, my schedule, my kids. Um, and in December, and so it's there's not a lot on here. In December, I was using it for also like my to-do listy kind of things that I wanted to get done. Things I wanted to get done during the day. Like you can see like library, upload, laundry, clean, walk, jog, film create December stuff, um, scout hunt setup, um, clean meals, you know, stuff like that, as well as my timed appointments. So I decided that I got this little cutie pie for Christmas and this is my second thing. So I decided that this is not a lot of room to, besides writing in my timed and dated appointments, um, to put in lists of things that I want to do during the day. Um, I put in general like to do kind of type things in here um, or things that have to do with um, like my kids, like turn in, remember to turn in Henry's reading log, um, email the teacher, you know, stuff like that. Like this is stuff, um, stuff with my kids, I'll keep making notes of that in here, uh, things I need to remember. Um, but as far as to-do lists and like shopping lists, um, that's why I have this for now, is my little uh, passport size Midori traveler's notebook in the camel color. So that's my planner. That leads me into the next thing. So like I said, I put went through and put a couple of the stickers from that sticker pack throughout my months, but not, not overly decorated because I didn't want to detract from the amazing cats. So I guess they are cutesy stickers from Carpadium, but I love them. I love them so much that I just can't help it. And you, this is going to sound so weird and you're probably not going to want to come back to my channel after I say it, but the, um, 
the cats, like some of them are really funny because they have buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I regret that as soon as it came out of my mouth, I regretted it. Like they, if you have a cat, you know what it's like when your cat turns around in your face and you're, you're like loving your cat and you're like, oh, you're my best friend, I love you. And then they turn around and they stick their butthole right in your face. Like, they make the buttholes on the cats in some of these pictures, and for some reason, I just think that is absurdly funny. Absurdly funny. And if you have a cat, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and don't lie to me and tell me that you do not. Anyway. I think I probably just lost about 90% of you there. Anytime you say butthole in a YouTube video, I'm sure you lose a lot of audience. But anyway, so that's that. Focus. Um... So this is this, and I did do a video about this. Um, I still haven't looked up how to do the card thing, the linking it in the cards. I gotta watch a YouTube video about it. I can't, I can't figure it out. So I got this, I stuck a pocket in it. You saw me, there is a video on my channel of me setting this thing up. Decorating this card, um, card stock, card pocket thing with my Crate Paper Journal Studio stickers from American Crafts, which are gorgeous. Um, and then this notebook <clears throat> is a pocket notebook from Uli, and it's in the um, Urban Cities, um, the Urban Cities pack. And they're super, super cute. And they're like just these whimsical little cities. And I showed those in the video where I set this up too. And then it also, I also got the, the zippy pocket with it and it's got four card slots and then my little Sasquatch sticker that I got um, in my Christmas presents. Sasquatch. Uh, I'll save my journals for last. This is the last type of like planner type things that I have. So anyways, I don't really carry this around with me. I can and I'll show you that it fits in my tote bag really well. Um, like I take it to my like uh, daisy meeting planning appointments and stuff things where I need my planner. But this little guy comes in my purse and he is where I write things that I need to do during the day. Like I just date it and I write check boxes. This is what I need to do today. And if there's something at work or something, um, it's almost like a bullet journal. This is my bullet journal that comes with me. This is my planner that stays at home. Um, and it works, it's working out really, really well, really well, because this stuff doesn't have to go in my planner and clutter it up. And this is the kind of information that I usually need on the go. Like I just get very overwhelmed very easily. So I need a list in my brain of like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and then go to bed. <laughs> um, or I get, I just get overwhelmed. So this tells me what my brain, this tells my brain what I need to be doing, what I, what I need to be focusing on. And this is, there's also a video about this, is my YouTube planner. <clears throat> so I wanted a place where I could set up um, my, or keep track of my YouTube stuff, like the videos that I upload and um, when I upload them, a place where I could take notes about it. So I made this little planner out of this little, this was a plain lined notebook that I got from my husband. And I stuck in the pen loop and I made a little pocket back here out of, um, out of uh, craft paper. What am I trying? Scrapbook paper. <clears throat> this is all stuff I had. And these stickers are from uh, Webster's Pages paper crafting thing, old kit. Um, and this is where I'm keeping track of my uploads for YouTube. I'm putting, using my washi tape, my, uh, watercolor plus sign washi to put every, every day I upload a video. And then here I'm writing what the video was, um, so just so that I can get a snapshot of each month of how many videos I've uploaded or when the last time I uploaded was. And then I have, um, here is YouTube video topics list that I can list out things that I want. And that's all it is, is monthly calendars. And then it's note pages. 
in the backs for me to take notes and brainstorm and keep track of different things that might come up. And then in the, I made a year for 2020. So this index is for the year 2020 in my YouTube life, God willing. And it's just calendar and notes pages. So this was easy to set up, but it has been really helpful. And I had these little sticky calendars and I stuck one in for December, 2018, so that I could see how many uploads I did in December as well, even though I don't have a December actual spread. The lines are wonky as hell because I wrote it myself. So my imperfect self did not make perfect lines. Um, and then here's my index. And that's, that's that. So if you want to look for that video, uh, it's, it's here. It's, it's on my channel. Not too far back, I don't think. <clears throat> now these are actually going to be journals. This there's um, separate videos about all these, but this is my health journal. I need to speed up. Um, this is the A6 Hobonichi Techo. And how I'm using this uh, is um, as a health and wellness journal. So in it, um, I decorated the beginning pages, my little hedge jog. I love him so much. It's got this calendar. I'm not really using it. It's got these monthly index pages I am using to track um, my menstrual cycle with a mild liner. Um, and then I'm tracking weight like weekly um, or, you know, whenever, but weekly is what's in the dark numbers. Um, and then here I'm tracking if I tracked my food and my fitness pal. Um, if I met my goal for macronutrients and whatnot, then um, I put an X. Um, and then I added this K for keto. Um, I'm trying keto because I did a lot of research about how it um, can impact uh, distance running and um, it can really help you in long distance running, which is kind of counterintuitive when you think about carbs and running and stuff. But, um, so I'm trying it. <clears throat> so anyway, and then the IM or IF is intermittent fasting and hours. So it's just how many hours I go between supper at night and breakfast the next morning to like give myself time to digest. Um, my goal is usually just 12 hours. Like that's what it was this morning and I forgot to write that in. Um, 12 hours and then I eat breakfast and then um, like today I'll put an X because I am tracking what I'm eating and I know I'll meet my goal and I know I'll eat keto, like keep eating what I'm eating um, because I don't have any, um, I don't have any desire not to, like there's nothing we would be doing tonight that I would like, I don't know, have a piece of cake and drink five Bud Lights, like I, I don't know. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but I, it's not going to happen tonight. <laughs> I have to take my daughter to dance. So um, that's what those pages are for. Um, and I just wrote this in, in teal. I'm planning on like alternating black and teal kind of like with the headers just so that it's easy to see. Um, so it's not all black writing and it kind of blends in all together. Um, so this will be like black, teal, uh, whatever. It doesn't have to be teal, any color really. Um, and then it's the monthly pages. And in the monthly pages, um, I am tracking spending and my mileage for uh, running training. So this is, I started this in December. Um, and in this top column is my mileage that I have to run that day. Um, I highlight that with a mild liner when I get it done. And then below that this is a color code of spending so this is spending like outside of spending that i do with my husband budgeted you know what i mean like spending um and gas and stuff is budgeted but i just wanted to know how often i was filling up my tank and stuff so this is for me it goes in with the health and wellness a lot of people wouldn't make that connection but um for me spending does kind of have a little bit to do with mental health um, you know, everyone's got their vices. Some people spend or eat or drink or I don't know, whatever, if they're happy or sad or 
So, I mean, it's just something good to keep track of. Um, so here we are. I haven't ran my two miles for today yet, so I haven't highlighted it in green. And right now I'm following the Hal Higdon 10K, um, 5K to 10K program. 10K program will end on February 10th. So I've really liked the spending and stuff in there, tracker. And then the beginning monthly and daily pages, um, in the beginning of January, I just did like a goals, put some stickers in, and these stickers are Agenda 52, um, the Paper Studio. These are from uh, Hobby Lobby. And I really liked these exercise stickers. They had distance and hydrate stickers, and then some workout, feel the burn, you know, stuff like that. So I did not find these stickers um, obnoxious either. Um, and then the things that I wanted to track in my daily pages, I made little um, columns where um, food notes, like just notes about it, about my eating, if anything was out of the ordinary. Um, cardio and strength, like what I did for my run, if I was outside or if I was running on the treadmill, um, whatever. And then the shoes, because I like to tr keep track of my shoes for running so I know when I need to change them. Any notes about the day, sleep, um, how many hours I slept, if I took any naps, if I took my medication, my vitamins, and then any notes about mood. And then I used this weight sticker, one of these weight stickers just at the beginning of the month. I thought it might be handy just to use one of them at the beginning of every month just to see where you're starting the month. Um, and then, like I said, I just made this little grid for every day is my plan so that I can keep track of things like that. Um, and that's it. So that's how I'm using my health and wellness planner. And I did put in some of my bunny stickers here just because I can't help but decorate things. I just love it. Like I said in the other video, I'm not like a young bird anymore, so I know you know, this is helpful to see, you know, if there's trends that are different in my health, then I can go to my doctor and say, look at this, this is, seems funny or whatever. So that's my health journal. In the back, I put some of those Agenda 52 workout stickers. And then I just have two random REI stickers. <laughs> so that's the health journal. I'm using my Hobonichi pen that comes in the with the journals. Okay guys, I'm almost done. I know I'm talking to high heaven. Stick these in there. I got bookmarks and blah, blah, blah. And I put tabs in here. These are Agenda 52 tabs. And the only reason I did that is because I love it. I love the way that it looks. I love the tabs. <laughs> I just think they're the cutest things in the whole world. I put them at the beginning of the months and that's it. Purely decorative, pretty much. And then this baby is my journal journal um, that I'm going to be daily journaling in. So this is also a Hobonichi Atecho A6 English version. This is my journal. And uh, this is just scrapbook cards. Don't, I, I put them in there when I decorated it. Um, just because I'm going to be in here every day. So um, I figured I could use these as tippins if I wanted or to decorate a page if I didn't have that much to say or whatever. It's just um, cut pieces of scrapbook paper and then I do have a little thing with my washi in it. And it's this washi from the roll, the Wamon, Wamon Kamoi River washi. Um, and you guys saw I decorated the inside of this. There is a video which is stickers that I have and stuff. Things that make me happy. This is the inside cover. The yearly index I'm using as the highlight of the month. I told you guys that. And then daily pages, obviously, I'm journaling. So this was the beginning of January. And um, I use stickers, I use washi tape, I use paint pen. Um, I put a strip of washi on each edge, on the edge of um, the beginning of each month. So that's what that is. Kind of denotes the beginning of a month if there's washi on the edge. And there's also a tab because I went tab crazy. So, um, and then this was the second day of 
January and now we're on the third and I had it was just kind of a crazy couple, two days so I had more to say for Wednesday so I just added in this little tip in and then I will do my journaling here for today and I have a video where I already pre prepared these pages I put watercolor on them I put some stickers from my journal studio sticker pack and this is MT, no not MT, this is Maste date or number flag washi tape that I numbered the days through January. I stuffed down random stickers. And then when I go in and journal, I put in other stickers and stuff like that. So that is how I am using my journals this year, guys. I'm, uh, that's the lineup. I'm excited about it. I think it, it's been helpful so far and I've had a lot of fun working in them so far. So, um, you know, I'm just excited to keep going and the prospect of having these full and brimming and fat at the end of the year just makes me so incredibly excited that I just can't, can't contain myself. So um, this stays on my desk downstairs journaling where I journal and or where I film and where I have all my art supplies. Um, this stays kind of upstairs. It travels. Um, this stays in my purse. These stay in my Delphonics pouch, which travels between my little art area in the basement um, and upstairs on the kitchen island where I do a lot of stuff as well. That's it guys. That is my my lineup for this coming December or this coming year, sorry, um, of 2019. So if you're new, I'm so glad you're here and I'm happy that you're watching. Um, if you got past the cat butthole part, um, we could be best friends. So stick around, like, subscribe, leave me a comment about if you think this is insanity to have this much stuff to keep track of. It might be, but um, I don't know. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.